about. So, what do I have today? Today, I have for you, since uh, you may have noticed I've been fiddling with this, um, the Umarex H&K USP Compact Frequency. Um, so, I got this gun quite a good while ago now. And uh, when I first got it, the hop was terrible. So I ended up ripping that out, um, completely destroying it accidentally, and managing to fit a different barrel and hop into it. Uh, and also, as said, if you've been looking at the page, I have modified it further. Uh, by adding an open ejection port on it. Um, I stole this ejection port off this gun, my uh, TM USP gas blowback, uh, because you'll notice I have the threaded detonator barrel fitted into this, and the original barrel of that was going spare. So. Um, basically, the piston on these guns uh, actually has the uh, chamber attached to it. So when you cock it, as it is a standard, uh, the whole chamber moves with the slide so it doesn't open up the ejection port. So uh, I rectified that. So it looks a bit nicer and it's got the TM trades on there, which is nicer than the original ones. If we find them somewhere on the floor here. Uh, maybe not. Well, yeah, they're somewhere on the floor. Uh, it had the HK trade originally on there, uh, but it had also had the, the energy joulage uh, rating, which is 0.5 joules or something like that. Uh, as you will have noticed, it is a slide locking pistol. Magazine holds 12 BBs. It's uh, just a straight double stack feed going down the front end of the mag. Um, it's quite a decent weight to the mag. It's got a good lump of monkey metal lodged in there. Uh, there's also a good sort of amount of metal parts like the trigger, the hammer, and the um, the, the carriage, uh, the sort of the, the rails of, of, of the slide, and sort of the um, all the trigger housing part, all the trigger neck housing is, is metal in there. It has a metal outer barrel, and it's all it's quite quite a few big chunks of metal in there. Um, these Umarex guns are traded versions of the STTI gun, very similar to the HFC USP in many ways as well. Um, so yeah, uh, trades wise, the original trades on there um, are reasonable. Uh, not super accurate, but reasonable, as the USP and also the HK on the grip there, which um, that's a fairly inaccurate trade there, but it's nice to have a trade, regardless of accuracy. Uh, it does have the Cal 6mm just here on the, on the slide. Um, now, when I first got this gun, I always thought it looked a little bit funky, a bit off. Uh, and I know why now, uh, since getting the, the TM USP, the ejection ports the ejection port is slightly off. Is that level here? Yeah. Is slightly off for one. Um, the trigger guard, they've given it a uh, standard USP sloped front to the trigger guard, whereas the compact is a straight up trigger guard. The rear end of the slide, you'll notice, has a bit more of an angle on it, whereas this is sort of squared off 
the same with the uh, where it comes over the, the, the top of the thumb there at the back. And um, the grip is slightly differently contoured. So, yeah, it looks a little bit off in many ways, but it's uh, certainly a nice feeling, sort of, uh, and weight wise to the, to the gun for a Springer. Um, as said, the, the hop in it was not good. Um, I've now got it hopping two eights, uh, about 35 40 meters ish, which is good for a little, little compact type gun. Um, the sights I have dotted myself, they weren't recessed or anything like that. I added the recesses. Well, I say they weren't recessed, they happen to have recesses on the front of the sight for some strange reason and not the back. Um, uh, safety is in the right place. Uh, it'll think, am I right in thinking? Yeah, oh no. It does engage when the hammer's not up. But the strange thing about the safety is that is safe. Safety is down rather than the usual on the H and Ks. The safe being up. Uh, I was actually watching a forget forgotten weapons the other day, uh, and he was talking about the military version of the uh, USP or P O eight, and the military version uh, has the safety in the down position. Um, boring little factoid for you. Um, reason being, um, the what was it? The previous pistol, the Wolf uh, P38, also has a safe which goes down. So they were used to the safe being in the down position. Fascinating. Anyway. So yeah, there we go. I don't know um, if you got an STTI or another USP compact in the Umarex um, format, uh, whether that would have as shit a hop as mine originally had. I can't remember what, how it was shit, but I remember it being really shit. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, my modified Imrex HK USP Compact. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Cheers, guys.